and you're like, ah, what does any of this even mean right now? Someone help me. Take two. Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome. I hope you're having a most marvelous day. So have you ever opened up a gorgeous new knitting pattern and you love it so much and it's so beautiful and you're so excited to get started, but it's full of these symbols and these marks and you just don't know what any of that means. Have no fear, I'm gonna help you demystify knitting charts today so that you can put those chart fears aside and dive in head first. Oftentimes patterns will just have the written instructions, but sometimes knitting patterns will include charts, so it's really helpful to know how to read them. For example, this beautiful reprieve pattern by Jane Vincelis has both written instructions and charts for each of the different sections, so it is a wonderful pattern to practice your chart reading skill. And because this pattern is primarily knits and pearls and has simple repeating stitch patterns and it also maintains the same number of stitches throughout, it makes it the perfect pattern for learning to read charts for the adventurous beginner. Go ahead and download the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com. We're also going to link directly to it in the description box for you. Within the pattern PDF, you're going to find all the information you need. It's got the written instructions, the charts, how to adjust the size, as well as the yarn info. Now don't be intimidated by charts. Once you understand them, you may just find them easier to use than the written instructions. Knitting charts are so great because you have a visual of what your project is going to look like. And for visual learners out there like me, this is so helpful. Each knitting chart will include a key or legend that explains what each box or symbol represents. Now these can vary from pattern to pattern, so you definitely want to make sure that you understand what the symbols mean for the pattern that you are working on. You're going to start at the bottom right where the number one is and work across the chart from right to left. Then you're gonna turn your work, then you're gonna bump up to row two, where the number two is, and you're gonna work from left to right, and then you'll continue on in that manner. One thing to note, this is a flat pattern. However, if you are working on a pattern in the round, you're gonna start at the bottom right and work from right to left, and you're gonna to continue to work from right to left each row as you go along on your chart. Now, this is very important to understand. Each symbol may mean something different depending on which row you're on in your pattern. For example, in our pattern, a blank box means to knit that stitch when you're on a right side row, but you will purl that stitch when you're on a wrong side row. And vice versa, a dot means to purl that stitch on a right side row, but knit it when you're on a wrong side row. And sometimes you will see a repeating section in your chart. Often it's highlighted in red or some other bold color. And that just means you repeat that section across your row. Let's go ahead and work a couple rows so you can see how the chart works in this pattern. This is a right side row. So the blank squares on right side rows mean to knit. So we're gonna start by knitting three stitches. One, two, three. Now on right side rows, the dots symbolize purl stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and purl two. And two. Now, next we're going to knit two because we've got two blank squares. One, two, now we're into the repeating section of our chart, which has the red box around it. So to work the repeating part, you're just going to knit two, and then we've got two dots, so we're going to purl two, and you'll continue repeating that across your row, however many times. When you do reach the end, you're gonna finish with a knit two, there's two more dots, so purl, two, and then there's three blank squares. So three knit stitches, two and three. Now we're on a wrong side row. So the blank squares mean to purl those stitches. This row, we're going to actually start by purling those first three stitches. One, two, three. And the dots on wrong side rows symbolize knit stitches. Now we knit the next two stitches since there are two little dots. There's two blank squares, so we're going to purl those. One and two. The repeating part is two blank squares, purl, purl, and two dots, knit, knit, so you'll repeat that across your pattern. When you get to the end, you're gonna finish with purl and purl, since there's two blank squares. Now there's two dots, so you're going to knit, knit, and then three blank squares. 
So you purl those three stitches, like so. You can see how easy it is to read charts. I do recommend when you're learning to read charts that you bounce back and forth between the written instructions and the chart so that you can see how they coordinate. Here's something to keep in mind. You definitely want to keep track of which row you're on when you're working a chart. So you can do that in a variety of ways. One option is to use a highlighter and just mark off the row when you finished it. Another is just to simply use a pen or a pencil and cross through the row when you worked it. Or you can even use something sticky like a little post-it note and just move that up as you work each row. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. For those of you that are interested, we used our vellum fingering weight yak blend yarn for this pattern, which comes in some beautiful limited edition heathered colors. So I think you will absolutely love it. Thank you for joining me today. Go out and spread your wings, try new things, expand your boundaries, because that's what life is all about. You have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Testing, testing. Um, what do you get when you cross? What do you call a really smart pig? I have no idea. Albert Einstein. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I'm in the funniest mood today. I feel like this dress is just not working or something. It is full of all kinds of. Um. Okay. Start. Just start over. Okay. And you don't know what. <clears throat> Okay, start over. Um, sometimes, oh, oftentimes patterns will come, hold on, oftentimes patterns, okay. Oftentimes patterns will come with just the written instructions, but many of, um, oftentimes patterns come with just written instructions, but many of them will have, oh sorry, will find ones that have charts in them. So it is really important to know how to read this Use them, sorry. Oftentimes, patterns, okay. <laughs> Oftentimes, patterns will just have the written instructions, but sometimes knitting patterns will include charts, so it's really helpful to know how to read them. Now, I forgot, okay. <laughs> bye bye That's all.